Huh? Oh, well, I don't know. Which one? Yellow girl. Go on, who have you got? I have Lucy and Gary from Cheshire, and they both attend the Salmore Technology College. <laughs> All right, John, who have you got? <laughs> I have Emma and Kevin, and they're from Perth, and they attend the Perth High School. <laughs> Okay, we welcome Lucy, first of all, to Funhouse. Lucy, what, are you, what is that you've got hidden down there? Tell us all about this. Hold it up so we can all see. Um, it's a koosh ball, and it looks like me Nana, so I called it after her. So it's called Nana? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? I bet she's really chuffed watching that at home, I should think so. Okay, well, welcome along to you and your koosh ball. And uh, Gary Holdsworth is here as well, nicknamed Gaz. Favourite thing, football season ticket, and Manchester? <laughs> City, not United. All yep. right, you want to be a footballer, what position would you play? Left wing. Okay. Kevin Sharp, we have never had a Sharp on this show, and we'd like to point out at this stage that he is no relation. Hello, Mum. Oh, sorry. Right. <laughs> now, your favourite thing's a hamster, and you do an impression of Donald Duck. Off you go. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was Donald not saying too much. <laughs> and here's Emma, who wants to be a dancer and actress. You have a funny story about getting ready for school, Emma. Well, um, I was getting ready for school, because I was going to be late for the bus, so I had to hurry up, and... I was running down the bus, and when I got on the bus, I fell off a bed at the back, and my skirt was tucked into my pants. I say. <laughs> There'll be none of that here, matron. Welcome along. Good luck to all our players on Funhouse. Yeah! Okay, this afternoon, to kick off the weekend for the weekend blast. Well, we have three fun filled games. Each one worth 25 points to the winning team. There's a question corresponding to each game. After that, that's also worth 25 points. Then the Fun Car Grand Prix worth 25 points. Then a trip inside the fantastic new Funhouse. Bigger, brighter, better than ever, perhaps for the power price. Right, you guys have just, oh, there they go, actually, shooting off for the first game. They've got to get ready into some pretty good costumes because it's bags of fun house when it comes to sweets. Come on, sweetie! Excellent. A tea time treat of your original fun house jelly babies. Mm. I think I'll just sit and eat these for 60 seconds. All right, carry on. Oh, don't carry on. Okay, what are you going to do? Oh, you're already there. What an enormous stomach you two have got. Your job will be... In amongst all the guns that's on the floor here, look at this. Ugh. To get one of you either side and use your fat tums to break the jellies like this. So you'll have one tummy here, another tummy there. They'll meet in the middle and go smash. Then you will obviously make one score for each one you get. Some are low, some are high, some are high-low. Either way, they'll be really good. Okay, 60 seconds. The most burst jellies makes you the star. So take your position, stand by, and remember, you kids sitting at the back, don't be dummies. On your marks, get set, go! Congratulations, sweeties. That was brilliant. I must admit, I should point out, when I threw the jelly babies in the air, you'll be shocked to know that my crew ate them off the floor. That is disgusting. <laughs> it's more disgusting than the game, isn't it? Okay, so I don't want to uh, sweet talk you into this, but if they didn't know each other well at the start, they certainly do now. How many did we get? We got 13! 13, yeah! all right. And over here at the yellow camp, I don't think they did quite as well. What's your news? We got 12! Ah! Yeah! There's only one in it, but one's enough to rerun the fun! Yeah! So the Reds, go ahead. The first points today are 25 for the Red team. Yeah! Let's give those mellow yellows a chance to catch up, boys. Question, you ready for this? Here we go. What's another name for your belly? <coughs> Yellow. Oh, Stomach will do for me. You've done it. Yeah! It's even Stevens. 25 points apiece. Yeah! Game 
going to. It's a chance for the boys to make some noise all by themselves. Come over here to the Indian Reservation. Now, this is a nice easy game. If I get my feathers on right. Oh, hold on, I'm going to get my thing. It's down here, excuse me. Uh, there we go. This is my thing. What is this thing called? A, uh, a Indian rattle or something. I don't know. Anyway, here's the score. Very simple. You guys have all the clothes, but you don't have what I'm wearing, you see. This is your actual headdress. So if I take this off, you need to make your own. So you'll take one of these from the TP. You'll place it on like this. You'll go darting over here. Yellow's this side, red's that side, into the glue, which is hideous. Then I'll show you how it will work. Your head will be dipped into here, but of course, because of the glue, it will pick up these, which are the feathers, like this. Then, you'll take your completed headdress over here, and you'll hang it on this totem pole, and that will count as one completed headdress, okay? I'll put this one back, because it's only as an example here. You have 60 seconds to get the most completed headdresses, and you'll be a star. Actually, oh, key game as well, which is good news. I should point out that it's not just red Indians, it's yellow Indians in this game, because it's very unfair otherwise. And I also had some friends who were coming over there a couple of days ago dressed in all their red Indian outfits, but um, they had to stay at my house in the end because the hotel was full, they couldn't get a reservation. On your marks, get set, go! finish there you okay you did very well look at you you're a star and he, didn't cry. he didn't cry of course he didn't i'm going to though i can't believe he fell over i found out what this was for it was a rain dance machine that's what happened you see all the rain came up i didn't know that did you so um how did we get on you didn't fall did you no. we got hats Go on. we got one two three four well done red yeah. and now Come over here, yellow Indian. You can start a whole new trend. <laughs> How many did you get? Let me see if I can get them again. Oh. We only got three! Oh. Yeah. But you've got loads in your hair, so you really had fun. You look so much better. Well done. Reds, rerun the fun! Yeah. Because of that little yellow banana slip up at the end there, they get themselves three points because it's a key game. But the Reds go ahead. 25 points! Yeah, yeah. So I suppose basically the yellows weren't Apache on the Reds. OK, poker headdress was the game. Let's ask the girls a question. Worth 25 points. By the way, you left your engine running over there, if you can turn it off. Uh, what did some Indian tribes put on their faces when they went into battle? <laughs> yes. Walk in. Yes, war paint is right on red. So, 28 yellows in the leaves. The Reds have 75. Come alive! <laughs> All right, our final game sees the girls going off to the most exotic venue. Where? Well, to be specific, it's the South Pacific. Come on! <laughs> our girls are after pearls. In Funhouse, they're ready-made, but it's still a treacherous job to go and get them. Have a look down in the Funhouse pool, and you will see treasure chests. Now, there's lots of stuff in there apart from the pearl necklaces. You girls are going to have to get in and work out which ones are the pearls, which ones aren't. And from there, each time, taking one at a time, swim up to the surface and place it in here. All right, that's where your pearls have got to go. It's the one with the most pearl necklaces. Back in the little shells at the end, pearls in the shell, that is the star winner. You have 60 seconds to do it. On your marks, get set. What are you having for tea? Go!
all my little jewels in the crown. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Go on, camera. Well, 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 I lied about pushing you in. <laughs> I'm not going up there, it's too dangerous. Martina, it's all up to you. Hello, we got one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six! Yay! Right. Well, it shows how rich the twins really are. They just throw their jewellery away, just like that. <laughs> well done, Yellows, we run the fun in the sun! <laughs> Yellows, just doing it because the Reds clammed up at the last minute. 25 points to the Yellows! <laughs> Alright fellas, here's your question. You don't have to get wet or gungy, still worth 25 points. What do you call the half woman, half fish that lived under the sea? <coughs> yellows. Mermaid. Mermaid is right, 25 points! Wow, just what you needed to go into the lead now. They turned it all around. 75 Reds, 78 the Yellows! <laughs> Couldn't be closer as we head into the Fun Cart Grand Prix. Bring them on, girls! Yeah! Well, it's true. To avoid that middle-of-the-road feeling, that grief relief is here. It's called the Fun Cart Grand Prix. You're all set, on you? are all dressed very quickly. Can you get your helmets on? I'll explain what you do. First lap, kids. I bet the boys are going first, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, typical of the lads. First lap, grab these ones, OK? They were 25 a grab. They must go into here because if they go onto there, they don't count. If you don't bring them back and give them to your cheerleader, they do not count. Second lap, tens. Same story. In the pouch, please. On the floor, no good. Let's get it going. Three laps. First and third for the boys. Second for the girls. Are you going to make some noise? Yeah. Going to stand up and cheer and wave? Oh, great. They're the best audience we've had all afternoon. On your marks. Get set. Go! Replay and let you know who's actually won that race. Standing on the track at the end with the flag, ready to flag down the winner. I was terrified there. I saw my whole life flash in front of me. It's amazing. Pat, it only lasted a couple of seconds. <laughs> Just by a nose, 25 to the Reds. Yeah! Very exciting. I'll add up your tokens as well, if I may. Yeah, Thank you very nice. much. I'll do the 25 first. 75 worth of that, and how many tens have we got? Total score, 215, very good there. All right, Emma and Kevin from Perth looking good. Let's see how the yellows get on, the chest yellows. Ready, 10, 20, 25, 25, 25, 25, 198. You're going into the fun house. He's done it. Oh, my goodness. But, 
excuse me, I'm just going down here for a second. Lucy and Gary, congratulations to you. Look at this. This is your legendary Funhouse personal CD player. And over here, we have the bag that it goes in, which can't be bad. So we'll make sure you get one of those each. And also, have a look at that. Nice jacket, Funhouse jacket, with the yellow logo on the back. You'll get one of those each as well. We'll have them wrapped up in boxes, along with Martina. And thank you very much. See you later. Well played. Okay. Yay! You. We've rehearsed this bit. Do you want to do that again? Right, here we go. Ready? Got this. Here we go. And there you are. Now they know what they're doing. I wonder if Gary King knows what he's doing with all those prizes. He can tell us what's in the fun house today, and you guys can come and join us. Yeah! Face the flying fox and find a snazzy shirt, cap, and shape waiting for you. Make music in the jungle jump with this marvelous surprise. Blitz the ball run and please all your powers with this sizzling pizza party. Face up to the stone faces, and you'll be snuggling up in this sleeping bag. Bob along the bobsleigh and grab these great go-kart lessons. Tackle the tumbling tube and you'll bag these brilliant box games. Battle through the balloon tunnel and land these marvellous music lessons. Put on your pullovers and end up the picture of happiness with this painting set. Shop your way through these hungry burgers and claim this attractive camera. Unravel the monster maze and this marvellous mask, snorkel and fins could be yours. Slide on the wild slide and pick up a brilliant baseball set. Then be a daredevil on the danger net and rise to the sound of this radio alarm. Scare up the enemy on the scouter bouncer and win a wonderful wallet for your class. Nip up the net ladder and pocket a calculator for all your classroom calculations. Lastly, bag this brilliant brain bash game on the slip and slide. Well, what a very sharp selection of stuff. I'm sure you'll agree. What will you be going yeah. for there, Kev? I'll be going for the camera. Yes. And... If you, you go for the camera, you've got to make it snappy. Yep. <laughs> it's very important. No, it is. It's, it's a hard run through there. Let me just show you what it's all about, okay? Inside our fun house are 15 different price tags. This is just an example one, okay? They look like this. They've got a little tag on the end. Some of them have question marks, don't they? You see it on the back, you get the uh, reveal on the way down. But one of them helps you at least get a chance to answer the power price question. Okay, let's see what the power prize is this week from Gary King. Gary? Reach for the stars and capture the American dream. A week in Hollywood, the movie capital of the world. Yours for the taking. A week in Hollywood. Outside the Chinese theater there, you can put your, your footprint in the pavement as they do with all the stars. Wow, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Okay, so the only way you'll know you've got the tag that gives you a chance to answer the question to win the power prize is when it goes like this. And you won't know which tag to grab, so it'll be a surprise. Those at home will know when we show them now. Which isn't a lot of use, really, because those at home aren't playing. So. <laughs> but never mind, it's all good fun. So uh, who's going to be going first? I am Pat. There you go. Well, good luck to you. I wish you lots of luck, Mr. Sharp. So feet on the steps. Very nice to have my mum here. And uh, two minutes, high five after every three tags. So rude. They're over there. Look, say goodbye. Go! <laughs>
fun house to run that was. That was so good. They got so many tokens. Yeah. When you're ready. Come on. Got me tea on, you know. <laughs> Dick <Dirk Pateka. laughs> And that's just your sister. Right. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Bye. She'll get me for that, won't she? You come down here. You come this side. I want to hear your heartbeats. There you are. It's all for real. You can definitely be. This is what you've got each, okay? You've got a calculator each. Yeah. You'll need it to add up all these prizes. Music lessons each. Yeah. The go-kart lessons each. Yeah. The painting set each. Yeah. The camera each. Yeah. Radio alarm each. Yeah. Sleeping bag each. Oh, yeah. and a question mark each. Yeah. Ah, an upside down MIDI system becomes a right way round MIDI system each. Well yeah. done. And most importantly, hidden inside the danger net was the power prize tag. So bring on the question, Martina! <laughs> My little baked potato. Kitchen. Right, yes, she's given the rules here. She goes, don't shout, don't shout, I'm the woman, all right? Now I know what I'm doing, all right? Okay, this is a chance for you to get to Hollywood. You come this way a little bit. Just follow my close up. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Right, here we go. You can confer, you've got 10 seconds. You ready? There are five vowels in the alphabet. Can you give three of them? A E I. Yeah! <laughs> you see, Kev, those women know best, even though you are Mr. Sharp. You're going to Hollywood in California, USA, courtesy of Funhouse. Have a nice weekend. See ya!